today I am going to talk to you about something very awkward for me, but it always feels like an elephant in the room pretty much everywhere I go. I've only talked about it with like people one-on-one, -on -one, so this is a new setting, so welcome my guinea pigs. <laughs> today I am going to talk about why I think that our national dialogue on transgender people should change. And I'm going to start it out by asking you all a question. Uh, you can just show of hands and somebody really wants to like take a stab at this, please do. Has anybody ever thought about if there's a difference between the words sex and gender? I see one, two hands. Can, would either of you like to take a stab at this? What do you think? Like, of like the difference between them? Yeah. I think, I don't know, I even go about the same word, like anyone can do it differently because if someone sees and says, okay, my gender, I see myself as a, a female and my sex, I was born as a female. So everyone's going to see your own gender differently, um, personally. Like you're going to see your own gender differently than how you were born as a sex. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? I would describe it the same way. Like your yeah. sex is what you're born into. Your gender is how you persuade it. Like how you see yourself. Thank you. That I'm going to take sense. the floor back quick just yeah. because I got a time on it. Yeah, get up. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so the way I, when I was researching it, sex has to do with open up your legs. What are you? Identi it's about identifying somebody based on their sexual characteristics. Gender has to do with uh, somebody's persona, their, um, how, they pre how they present themselves, how they personally identify, and it's also based on social norms of the time. Um, and gender dysphoria is something that people generally, uh, not all transgender people experience it. I certainly do. <laughs> and it's when your uh, biological sex and your gender don't align. And uh, it's the discombobulating feeling you feel pretty much all the time based on that. So um, I felt like I should do this topic because it's a form of self-defense. Uh, because according to PBS News last year, there was a record number of anti-transgender legislation that was proposed or passed. And in the Trump administration, there were more than 70 executive actions taken that directly uh, adversely affected transgender people. These include what you've probably heard of bathroom bills. So we're fortunate here in Iowa, but in many states, I would be required to go into the men's room where I would not feel safe. So I would probably duck down behind a tree or something. I don't know, but I'm just saying like, it'd be very uncomfortable for me to be put in that situation. And, um, there are athletics bills um, that either ban transgender people from participating in sports or participating with people of their gender, and um, strict legal protections. This has to do with housing discrimination, businesses and employment, homeless shelters, government programs and schools. Um, government agencies were instructed to address people only by their birth sex uh, during the previous administration, so that's a lot of the stuff still ongoing. And um, some of these things were really important to me, like homeless shelters. I was homeless for 17 years, and uh, I rarely stayed at shelters because I know some of them, they would straight up ask you, like, they, we need to know what you have there between your legs. It was very awkward. I just chose to sleep outside. I got, I got ticketed in Santa Rosa, California for $250 for camping within city limits. So I either take my chances in the shelter, staying with the guys not feeling comfortable, safe, or respected, or I'd go sleep on the street, which is what, the cho what I chose to do. Um, there were several other things. Prison inmates were moved with people of their birth sex. Mil uh, mil trans people banned from serving in the military. Who would want to? I'm a conscientious objector anyway, but stacking the courts, Trump appointed um, several uh, federal judges into key positions throughout the country into federal courts. So if, when the executive branch isn't treating you well, or like maybe they're misgendering you, then um, and then you take it to court, you've got that stacked as, against you as well. So, um, so that's why I chose this topic as a form of self-defense. And I think uh, transgender people have it hard enough without all the, without the most powerful people in the world using their position to persuade people that we are men trying to get into the women's restroom because we're after women and children. And I think that dialogue is gross, offensive, and um, these decisions that they're making about it based on the Tucker Carlson's of the world personally affect me and affect the way people view me and others. Um, 
The suicide rate of transgender people is 10 times that of the national average, and 2021, there were more transgender people murdered than any other year before it. Over 375 of them were murdered. Here are some of the faces from 2021 that were killed. It was the deadliest year on record. Um, at and the, when I attended the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, I learned that there were more trans people killed uh, in hate crimes than any other demographic combined. That's not overall total, but that's percent based on how many there are. I want to wind this down with some math. Um, I think this one's really important. Uh, so um, according to the Philadelphia Center for Transgender Surgery, on average, it costs about $130,000 for, for somebody to transition. Um, there's approximately 1.4 million transgender people, patients in the US. That's, these are people, transgender people who are seeking medical coverage for it, because some aren't. Um, there, so that means $130,000 per trans person times 1.4 million, it would cost right now $182 billion to pay for all medical coverage for all transgender people. Let's put this into perspective. AP Press calculated that North Carolina's bathroom bill would cost them uh, $3.75 billion for the state. That's one bill. Remember, there were over 100 bills that were passed. So let's take 100 bills times 3.75. We'll round that down to $3 million. We'll assume that was an expensive bill. $3 billion per bill times 100 bill equals $300 billion is the total cost of all these bills. Three billion, the cost of all the bills, divided by $182 billion, the cost for all transgender people to transition. If instead of spending all of that money on um, campaigning against transgender people, they spent half that amount, they could afford to help all, people, trans, all transgender people transition. They'd save twice as much money and I'm gonna wrap it up by saying I think facial feminization surgery is amazing and should also be covered besides just bottom surgery. Uh, be, make people feel more comfortable. And um, lastly, my call to action is um, say don't vote for politicians that have anti-trans um, stances. Do some research. If you hear people saying shitty stuff about trans people, if you make it a point to stay, say something, Rather than say nothing, I'd appreciate it for the rest of my life. And I'll wrap it up with a quote by Mahatma Gandhi, a nation's greatness is measured by how it treats its weakest members. Thank you.